continuing the simple steps to excel in your studies, another question that students often struggle with is learning the terms of harmonic and melodic intervals. Now here we've used image mnemonics, a visual memory jogger for the harmonic interval and for the melodic interval. That makes it really easy to remember and associate the image mnemonic to the meaning of the word. As you look at it, you can see how simple that is, right? Do you see how simple it is? Excellent. Let's check in with Carter on his H and M harmonic and melodic memory joggers. So now we talked about the harmonic and melodic scales and now let's talk about harmonic and melodic intervals because right now we want to organize and really find successful tools for remembering things. So when you look at the H and the M, how do you remember this, Carter? Well, a good way for remembering it for me is that intervals make me tired. <laughs> So the way I see it, you have the Harmony Hotel and the Melody Motel. All right. <laughs> so harmonic intervals right. are seen as one note on top of the other one. All right. Beautiful. They are played together, so it would sound more like that if you had a C and an E. Right. Now for the Melody Motel, if it's a melodic interval, you have one note just hanging out over here, mm -hmm. and you have another note hanging out over here, or down here, depending on where you want it. And what is that called? Well, that would be a melodic interval, so mm -hmm. it would be played separately, so it would sound more like this. Beautiful. And so that's what's really creating the melody, and the harmonic interval is what's creating the harmony. Wow. Wow, we're good. All right, let's check this out. Mnemonic devices are memory jogger techniques that uh, you can use to help you improve your ability to remember something. Um, in other words, it's a memory technique to help your brain better encode and recall uh, important information. Now, in the Complete Rudiments Workbook, you are learning about modes. A mode is a scale that has the same pattern of tones and semitones as a major scale. And each mode begins on a different scale degree of the major scale. Does that make sense? Okay. A simple mnemonic device is using the UMT hint sentence. I do play like Mozart and Liszt. And this now will help you remember the order and the names of the modes. How simple is that, right? Here's Carter using the mnemonic device of the hint sentence and his fingers, as you can see, to identify the mode. So let's watch how he does it. And remember, he's a Tito. So on page 71 in the Complete Rudiments Workbook, we're learning about modes and how we organize sort of our modes. And an easy way to remember is we actually have a little hint sentence. I do play like Mozart and Liszt, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. <laughs> That's a big thing there. So walk me through how you're going to determine what is the mode, Carter, of the scale that we see at the bottom of the page? Well, judging by the first note that we can determine is a G, we know that the scale starts on G. Okay. So then we look at the key signature. We don't have any sharps or flats. Okay. Uh, and a mode is a scale, a major scale. Correct. It has to be a major scale yes. that is played on a certain degree. Good job. So a scale, a major scale, with no sharps or flats would be C major. So let's count backwards from G. G, F, E, D, C. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. I do play like Mozart. So this is a Mixolydian scale. So it sounds something like this. Excellent. And does anyone ever write music in the Mixolydian mode? Yes. 
All the time, All the time. right? All the time. Many songs are based off of modes. They are. LOL, complete supplemental number three is listen. Music genres change what we hear. Throughout the complete supplemental series, you are learning about music history. And when we listen to music, music genres change what we hear. Music th history through the ages has evolved in both sacred and secular music. The elements of music uh, in melody, harmony, rhythm, dynamics, texture, phrasing, and voicing continue to develop creating new sounds. So various music genres are heard throughout the medieval, renaissance, baroque, and classical eras, and I've just listed a few examples below that. Music history continues to be written using new styles of electronic music and electronic instruments, of course. The influences of global music fused into the modern genres produce the unique musical sounds of tomorrow. And musical genres continue to evolve through the romantic, modern, and global music styles. And again, I've listed just a few examples uh, there below for you. Now, here is the done-for-you, really fun part of the Ultimate Music Theory program. When you go to gsgmusic.com or ultimatemusictheory.com, same thing, simply click on the free resources at the top of the page and then scroll down to find the complete and then simply click view page. The free resources for the complete supplemental workbook are mapped out according to the pages in the workbook that correspond to the videos for each supplemental workbook level. So when doing the exercises in the complete supplemental workbook, pages 148 to 157, the videos correspond to the level 7 supplemental workbook presenting Stravinsky, um, Hugh Lacan, and Duke Ellington. So simply click on the link to watch the videos. It's that simple. Now here's Carter walking us through the listening activity in the complete supplemental workbook, pages 154 and 155, while listening to Duke Ellington's Coco. Now listen carefully as Carter is counting the bars and recognizing the 12-bar blues structure of Coco. Now, if you're a sola, like me, put your hands in the air and get up and dance. <laughs> and if you're a Tito, like Carter, tap and count and find your groove, baby. Enjoy the genre of big of the jazz, big band, with Duke Ellington's Coco. Now, the most fun about music is listening to it and playing it. And we can really tell the elements of jazz. So what are some of the things, and you play a lot of jazz, because you do. play bass and play piano. And so tell me some of the elements of jazz. Well, some of the elements of ja uh, jazz are uh, syncopation, rhythmic pulse, known as swing, and uh, improvisation are some of the biggest factors in jazz music. Very cool. I think we should have a little listen to some of this. So this is a 12-bar blues uh, by Duke Ellington, and we've kind of itemized it here, which is a really cool thing, because when you go to the Ultimate Music Theory free resources, we've kind of got it all li lined up for you. So Coco by Duke Ellington, and I think we're just going to actually have a listen to the whole piece, and I'm going to have you kind of point to us so we know um, there's... Um, 12 bar blues, and we can see repeated bars, first bar intro eight, and then 12, 12, 12, 12. Um, and also, what instruments are we hearing while we're listening to that music? So uh, let's have some fun and listen to this one. All right, this is Coco by Duke Ellington and his famous orchestra. All right. <laughs> 